So those are the three, and with those three, if you learn these three, and I hope that you do in these four years, if you learn these three, you will be a formidable force in the world. And I'm not exaggerating, because people don't learn these things anymore, and these are the most powerful tools that human beings have. Dr. King knew them, and he moved a whole nation. Malcolm X knew them, and he moved large numbers of people. Kennedy knew them, right? Obama. Obama's a master of rhetoric, or his speechwriters are, right? This is how the, the prophet was the most logical, grammatically correct, and rhetorically effective human being that ever lived. And he moved uh, one-sixth of humanity because of that. And so this is why they were so important in our civilization, in Muslim civilization. This is why people in, like the Freemasons are obsessed with the seven liberal arts. Why? This is a network of very powerful people and they know these tools. But some civilizations kept these hidden. These were like secret arts. Because they don't want people, they don't want, if you have these arts, you're, they, they're, that's why they're called liberal, because they free you. They free you to think for yourself and not let others think for you. So when, when, when somebody like Trump or Clinton, you can see through a lot of the logical fallacies, right? The Muslims are not the biggest threat to this country by any stretch. They're not even a major threat. Guns in this country are a far greater threat to the well-being and security of people in this country than, than any Muslims living here.